Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Since we are running our classes online from home now, it's very important that you go ahead and download the software that we need in order to follow with the classes. First, you will need to go online. For this part, you may also want to ask for help from a parent. First, you want to go ahead and open up either Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari or any browser that you may have. Next, search for download Python. Python is a programming language that we're going to be using for our classes. Press enter. The very first option should say download Python. Click on that. And then you will face the uh, home page of Python itself. Down here you will see it says release versions. And you should see the one that says 3.7.7. Go ahead and click on this. It will bring you to the page to download Python 3.7.7. If you scroll down until you come to this section that says files, you will see a list of the different of Python that you can install. Now what you're going to install uh, or which link you click on will depend on the machine that you are using. If you're using a Apple computer, go ahead and click on Mac OS. If you're using a Windows machine, you will need to either install Windows x86-64 executable installer or Windows x86 executable installer. The difference between this and this is you will see that one of them has the number 64 in front of it and the other one doesn't. In order to figure out which one you need to install on a Windows computer, just go ahead and open up your um, file explorer. Just have any file that you may have. Go to this PC. Right click somewhere empty and choose properties. Over here, as you can see, mine says system type 64 bit. These days, 64 bit is the most common um, operating system but you may just want to double check here as well. So now that I know mine is a 64 bit computer, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Windows X86 64 executable installer. If yours is 32 bit, you want to go ahead and just click on Windows 8 X6, the one without 64. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It will then download Python 3.7.7 for you. Now all you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions. Go ahead and click on it. And then make sure install launcher for all users is ticked. Click install now. Click yes if it gives you a, um, a pop-up. And just wait for the progress to complete. Once this is done, you will have Python installed on your computer. And I will just show you how you can double check. There we go. You should now have this option that says setup was successful. Go ahead and click on close. Go to start and search for idle. That's I-D-L-E. As soon as you search for idle, a result should show up. If you see this idle result and you click on it and this window shows up, this means that you have successfully installed Python and you can follow along with our tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.